be showing you how to make these hand-built tea light trees. I've created stencils to share that are in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. One set is to make these taller trees, and the second set, also in small, medium, and large, are to make a wider tree that will look something like this. You can ask your instructor to borrow any of these stencils. You can make just one tree if you'd like. You can make a set of trees if you choose to do so. You can make them in any sizes you'd like. And of course, you can also make your own stencils if you'd like to do that. In front of me are the tools that I used for this project. A rubber rib, a needle tool, a metal wire tool, loop tool like this, one of the smaller ones, and a knife. I also used a drill and drill bits to make the small and large openings, the little holes that light can shine through from the tea light. You're going to start by rolling out a slab of clay and smoothing both sides, giving it some time to set up. When you feel that your clay is at a good working state, you're going to trace your stencil and cut it out with your knife. When you're ready to form your tree shape, you're going to stand it up in the cone shape and get it kind of put together and then you can cut the seam on a diagonal so that both pieces actually fit together better. At that point, you'll open it back up, slip and score each side, and then start smoothing it out. At this point, I added my texture. I used this wire loop tool and I used the squared off side and kind of used the corner to drag in my clay and make this dug out texture so that it looked a little bit like an evergreen tree. And I just repeated that process all the way around a little bit at a time until I reached all the way to the top. At this point, I got out some drill bits in three different sizes and started to drill my tree to open up those spaces for the tea light to peek through. You can do it kind of sporadic, you can do it in rows, you can choose to do that however you like. I used a small, a medium, and a large just for variation in the size of the holes. smooth out the little clay pieces that are stuck to the inside and the outside and you're done. That's it. 